You can see the furniture is covered and we are doing remodeling. There's a lot of work left to be done. We are getting there. It won't be long now. But this counter behind me used to be a wall. This curved wall used to follow all the way around. You missed that magnificent view of the ocean. You don't want to miss that. That water is so pretty. That also means we never had this counter. So we need to get a couple of stools to pull up to this kitchen counter. So that's what we're going to do today. We are going to assemble two counter height stools. And here it is. It's Hillsdale Furniture. And there are a couple of stools. It says adult assembly required. I think I qualify. So let's get started. Here's what it looked like when I opened the top of the box. It looks like it's been well packed, but I'm just gonna have to get it organized. It looks like we have nine pieces. We have some of the rings. I imagine one of those is a foot ring and the other one is going to be for the seat, the swivel and the seat here. So that's four pieces. Then we have the four legs, that's eight. And the back is nine. And we have a set of directions. And this is nice. They're here to help you if you run into problems. But that's what I'm here for. And don't forget the hardware. It looks like all of this is put together with Allen screws, which I find annoying, but they do give you an Allen wrench. I have some of my own as well. So let's get this show on the road. And this is amusing. It says you're going to need a Phillips screwdriver, a slotted screwdriver, a hammer, a tape measure for some reason, but it doesn't mention the Allen wrench. We're going to start by putting part B to part A, and that fits in like this. Interestingly enough, this is not going to be tight against the back because these back rails are about an eighth of an inch away. So when you screw these on with one, two, three, four, five, six screws, that's not gonna pull up tight. There's gonna be a space there. And it does say face down. So we know that it fits in that way. You're gonna be using the number one screw, the number three lock washer and a fat flat washer. So I set all of these up that way so they're ready to go. The flat washer is going to go up against the wood. If you watch any of my videos, you know that I like to loose fit all of these first to make sure that they'll all fit in. Now I'm going to take the Allen wrench and tighten them all down. That way I can get this frame exactly positioned where I want it. That is done and looking good. Next, we're going to attach the legs to the swivel unit. Notice the swivel is face down. The legs will simply screw on with two screws just like that. And it doesn't matter where they go because the legs are all identical. So you'll just put these legs all the way around. And notice these screws have Loctite on them as well as a lock washer. So I think once you have those installed, they're going to stay tight. And now we're gonna put the ring in place. Doesn't seem to matter if there's a top or bottom. We're just gonna line it up. There's a little bit of give in these legs. So as you push it down, it'll snap right in. Then we just have to screw in the four screws with the washers. When you put the ring in, it's just the screw and the lock washer, not a washer. I did it wrong the first time. Now I have a little ring around there from the washer. I had to take it out and do it over. Those screws will be recessed. They'll go deeper than the ring. They're gonna be countersunk in there. For this next step, you wanna make sure that your swivel plate is offset. You don't want it to be lined up so it's square because you're going to have to access these four slots from the underside. Set your chair up on the edge of a counter or a table like this, and we're going to set that swivel right on top, and these are the four holes it's going into. Just like that, and center those holes the best you can all the way around. Now we're going to put the number one bolt and a lock washer and a washer through each one of those. The swivel base uses the washer and the lock washer, and that lock washer is nearest the head of the bolt. That's nice and tight. Now all that's left is to put on the cushion. 
Here's where it gets weird because there don't seem to be any pilot holes around here. They give you wood screws. I'm going to assume they are self-threading. So I'm going to position it the best I can on the chair and just drive those screws through. And that seems to work. So there's the finished stool. And I think we did a pretty good job. Swivel works nice, feels nice and sturdy. I'm happy with it. That wasn't a hard project. It was a time consuming project. I don't know why it told me I needed those other tools. The only two tools I needed was the Allen wrench that came with it and the Phillips screwdriver to put the cushion on at the end. I would advise if you have your own Allen wrench set, particularly if you have one with, you know, the T handle, I would absolutely use that because my fingers are just raw. I have another of those chairs to put together. I'm waiting for another time. I need a rest. I think I'm going to take a walk along the beach, have a tropical cocktail and take it easy for the rest of the day. If you learned something, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks for joining me. I'm Mark and this is the Average Me channel.